So my name is Vanessa Quince. I am currently a social research scientist at Public Health Seattle King County. As somebody coming from public health, my job isn't to tell you or force you whether or not you should or should not take the vaccine. I see my job as being a space to provide information so that each and every person can make an informed decision for themselves on whether or not they want to take the vaccine there's like three main takeaways. So first, there were no steps that were skipped during the development of the vaccine. Steps happen simultaneously, but maybe not one after the other. Two, both uh, for both the MNRA vaccine and the viral vector vaccine, these are building on like existing um, science and technology around vac vaccine development. So it's not necessarily something new. And then the third thing is that Although we are in a distribution phase, we're still monitoring, right? So scientists within the community are still monitoring the benefits of the vaccine. And we are still at like 90% efficacy in um, getting vaccinated and not having serious illness, um, deaths or hospitalizations. One thing to remember in terms of context is that Pfizer and Moderna, they were developed at an earlier stage and a different context than the Johnson & Johnson. But regardless of that, all three vaccines are safe and all three vaccines are highly effective at preventing serious illness, hospitalization and death among people who get vaccinated. Folks who don't want to be the first, you would be among millions of people throughout the U.S. who have taken um, the COVID-19 um, vaccine. In full transparency, I grew up with my mom being a home health care worker. So that is something that like I um, I take dearly in like thinking about this community. And I think home health care workers, um, they haven't had the luxury of being able to shelter in place. Right. So I think for those reasons, it's important to make sure that you're protecting yourself as you continue to do um, the amazing work that you continue to do um, within your community. Current CDC guidelines, they have um, recommendations on how you can engage with other people who are vaccinated. So right now the CDC says that you can engage indoors with other people who are vaccinated. Another CDC guideline is that if you are exposed to COVID-19, you do not need to quarantine. Um, remember, I think one of the things with the initial um, with the outbreak is like even if you had thoughts of being um, susceptible to COVID-19 or that somebody had transmission, you recommend the recommendation was to isolate and quarantine for two weeks. Um, and we know that um, certain communities are not able to do that in the same way as other communities. So the fact that you, once you get um, the vaccine, um, not needing to isolate and quarantine for 14 days is another benefit that comes from that.